Hi, welcome to LessonsWithTroy.com. I'm Troy. In this lesson, I wanted to teach you a little bit about playing by ear with the dobro, how to understand chords and chord tones and keys. Um, if you're in a jam session or writing a tune and you want to play chords in that particular key or you're, you're playing a chord and you wonder what notes you could play to give you a sound, like a bluesy sound or a bluegrass sound or you know, whatever kind of sound you want, the kinds of note choices you can play over particular chords. So let's just get started and uh, we'll hopefully by the end of this you'll be, be able to go to jam sessions and, and hear chords a little bit better and understand what you can play over these chords. Okay, the first note I want to alter is this major seventh here. Okay, the majority of, of, of things you'll probably end up playing on dobro um, is like country blues or bluegrass kind of stuff. Now, I'm not saying that F sharp you can't ever use that, but I, I particularly like F natural over a G chord if, it, if you, you're in more of a country bluesy kind of format. What that gives you, once if you take that F sharp on your fourth fret and you flat it to your third fret to where you have an F natural over a G major chord, that's what's called a dominant seventh. That's a flatted seventh. That's blues, right? That's that's the blues sound that you're looking for. That little gritty sound. So I'm taking that that major seventh and flatting it to a dominant seventh. there is I'm just sliding down, keeping within my key, sliding down from that dominant seventh to my E, which that's the sixth of my of my chord. So both those were and then I'm pulling off to an open D, which is the, the fifth of my chord. Now a real common thing to do too is to not just play F by itself, but if you put your bar flat then you can grab this D on your second string. Now remember, D is the fifth of our G major chord, and the fifth stacked on top of that seventh has a great blues, double stop blues sound. I'm going to play it with my thumb and my middle finger, so it'll sound like this. If you, if you think of every note that I'm playing there, I'm actually sliding that D down to a C sharp. Okay, that gets out of our key just a little bit. That gives us more of a flat five kind of sound. I'll, I'll get into that more once I start talking about altering the fifth. But yeah, play that, play that F natural. And uh, just remember, and find that, like I said, find that all over your, your dobro. Here it is on your sixth fret, on your second string. On your third string, it's on your tenth fret. On your fourth string, it's on your third fret, because remember, it was on your third fret on your first string, and your fourth string is the same, same note. On your fifth string, it's going to be on your sixth fret. Sixth string is going to be way up here on your tenth fret. So get used to, to finding wherever you find a note and you know the name of it and you know how it works over a chord. Find that note over all your strings and how, how it can you know how you can move it around. So dominant seventh, real good bluesy sound. Let's find another one. Okay, another one that, that gives you a real nice bluesy sound is taking your major third. And flatting it to a minor third. So taking B flat if you're playing a G major chord. Or sorry, taking B natural. Playing a G major chord, make it B flat. So I'm gonna just move it down a half step. And what you can do, it sounds real nice, is moving this minor third, this B flat, up to your major third. So I just went down to my dominant 
minus seventh there. So yeah, so just B flat has a real nice bluesy sound. So let's just... So that's one that's one to, to get in your head, that sound of either your minor third going to your major third. Back to your root. Or maybe just taking it and sliding from your ninth or your second, your A, if you're playing a G major chord, to your minor third. Or also, another good one is taking your, your major third, going to minor third, going to ninth or second, and then ending on your root. You can come up with all the. Once you start thinking of these notes as as um, you know intervals of the chord and how to manipulate those those to give you a bluesy sound, you know, or a real major sound. Staying in the key, then you can really start start hearing you know in your solos especially hearing how you can manipulate notes and uh, and get the sound that you want. Okay, let's try some others. <laughs> 